is the most sacred of all trees in India. The earliest reference I've been able to find in literature is in the Bhagavad Gita. Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita says, of the healing elements, I am the breeze. Of the purifying elements, I am the wind. Amongst fishes in the ocean, I am the shark. Amongst trees, I am the Ashwata. That is a Sanskrit name for the peepal tree. It's commonly called peepal, especially in North India. It's called Arali Mara locally. And it's got as many names as their Indian languages. This then is the most sacred tree of all trees in India. This is the first of the twigs with which you can raise Agni or the sacred fire. As I said, you can't raise it in any which way you want. Uh, we are not as stringent as it seems. The Parsis, when they have a flame out, they go all the way to Persia to go to the original fire and then they bring that fire back to their temples in Bombay or in the, on the west coast. In Zanzibar, you have what is called the peepal arch. Now, a peepal leaf, as you'll notice, is on a long stem and it has a heart shape with a long tail or drip tip. Now, if you that is facing downwards. If you reverse it, that is the shape of an arch which they have as a standard arch throughout Zanzibar. The name is correct, people arch it's called. It obviously must have been taken by Indian sold, uh, sailors across to Zanzibar, but that is their standard arch. It, it is a major element of architecture in Zanzibar. People trees live up to about 200 years as we know it and round the countryside in Karnataka and in parts of Andhra and Kerala, even Tamil Nadu, you have what are called kattes. In kattes you have, it's a race platform where you have a people tree which is married to a neem tree. The male element is the neem tree. The people tree is the female element. But in these kattes, because they're sacred, uh, nobody ever interferes with the neem tree or peepal tree. So the finest peepal trees can be seen in Kattes actually, going up to a height of 90 feet and over. Now the peepal tree is sacred to the Buddhists, the Hindus and the Jains. Among the Buddhists, Buddha got enlightenment under this tree. And it's gone into botanical nomenclature because this tree is called Ficus religiosa from the Buddha connection. It is also sacred uh, to the Jains because Lord Mahavira renounced the world under this tree. <laughs>